Greetings. You'll listen to a special Facebook Live edition of the Blaine's World Show, heard here on WPVM LP in Asheville, North Carolina, 103.7 on your dial, and here now on Facebook Live. I'm your host, Blaine Greenfield, in my Zoom studio here in Fairview, North Carolina, and what we do each show is bring you positive news and information and about organization and folks in both Western North Carolina and throughout the country. And toward that end, it's my pleasure to introduce Sydney Barnes and Richard Schulman, our guests for the show you're watching. Welcome aboard, Sydney and Richard. Feel free to wave to all your fans and friends in Facebook world. So you can wave to everybody, Sydney, give everybody a, a, a big greeting there. And um, Hello, fans in Facebook world. <laughs> you got it. And I'm very excited to have you both with us tonight because we're going to be having featuring a world premiere of a song that uh, Sydney and Richard wrote called A Letter to Santa. And uh, very excited about having this as a world premiere. But before I play it or have you guys play it, let me ask you two of my favorite questions. And I'll start with Sydney. And the first question is, Sydney, where did you grow up? I grew up in uh, Virginia, and I was born in West Virginia and grew up in Roanoke and Staten, Virginia. So I'm a Rocky Mountain kid, you know. Okay. And when you grew and, up, uh, was... yeah. when you grew up, did you know that uh, you wanted to be in music? When did you make that decision? Not, not until around 1954 when we moved to uh, D.C. and I started hearing the rhythm and blues music. But before, I'd always listened to bluegrass because, you know, being in West, wet, raised in Virginia, West Virginia, I, don't, I fell in love with bluegrass and country music. So I, I wasn't going to be into music. I was an artist. You know, I drew and, and, and made things, you know. But the minute I heard that R&B stuff, man, I, I said, I got to do that. When did you, you stop know, performing? And, uh, when did I? Oh, in DC, around around that time. Well, I started putting together little doo groups, you know. And a herb theme here from Peaches and Herb was in one of my groups. Okay. Uh, Marvin Gaye was in one of my groups. Oh, a, a, a lot of people, a lot of the kids in DC, you know, I, I sung with. But uh, I didn't start performing professionally until we moved to New Jersey, and um, I started hanging around in New York and. You know, getting into the business, and then one of my first groups there got uh, involved with Motown. So that was that was the start of the whole thing. You know, being with Motown. And how'd you go from Motown to now doing Christmas music? <laughs> I went from Motown to doing a lot of things. I was with Lever and Strollers, a uh, record label. You know, the guys that did Hound Dog. I was with their Redbird label in New York. I worked with uh, uh, oh God, all, all the big producers at that time in New York because I was doing a lot of background singing, you know, do, and, and doing my little internship. And um, that worked for uh, Sue Records, which is a uh, black owned, but a few black owned labels at that time. They had, I, they started with Ike and Tina Turner. So I worked with them. I was a, I was a partner of JJ Jackson, the guy that did, uh, but it's all right. You know, I did that. Then I went into uh, Detroit and I teamed up with George Clinton and we uh, worked with the Funk Brothers on a lot of sessions and, and uh, a lot of, did a lot of sessions. And then I moved to Chicago and got with Chess Records and, and got with Rotary Connection. And uh, the whole world changed after that, you know. And, and then you, so really hit the big you really hit the big time, Sydney, of course, when you uh, met Richard Schulman, you know, and then, then everything changed really? at, at that point. When I, first moved to Asheville, when, I, when I first moved to Asheville, I heard one of Richard's uh, uh, albums. It was Return to Camelot, Richard's in it. Camelot Reawakened. Yeah. Camelot Reawakened. And, and I, had, I hadn't heard anything that beautiful in a long time. So you know, when they said he lived in Nashville, I said, well, I got to work with this guy, you know, and then we met, we, he hit it off and we've been working together ever since. And that was like uh, about 19, 20 years ago. Cool. So we've been doing shows together and, and um, we're trying to work on a few original songs too. So we, we, we've been good friends, hopefully. And Richard, right, Richard? I'll you, <laughs> yes. I'll ask Richard the same question. Okay. So I've known you for a while, Richard, but um, you as a kid grew up, was it in Rochester? It was in I grew up in Niagara Falls. Okay. And, and went to college in Rochester and Buffalo. Okay. And so when did you get into becoming a music guy? When I was at the University of Rochester. Um, well, the Eastman School of Music is owned by the University of Rochester. And I fell in love with jazz when I, just before I went to college and really learned more about it 
once I was at the U of R and Eastman. Yeah, and what's I find interesting about your uh, background, Richard, much like Sydney's, is that you said you fell in love with jazz, but you've done just about all kinds of music. Is that correct? Right. I started out as typical piano playing classical music, and uh, and for many years I did classical and then jazz, and then I fell into, uh, or I rose into working with meditation music. And then also, um, I know, uh, as, as uh, Sydney mentioned, you had that beautiful Camelot piece, you know, which, which I, I like Sydney, loved it. And so then you wrote, yeah. so then you wrote a, a show based right. on that there music. Right, there was the, uh, the orchestral version of Camelot Reawaken, and then there was the musical show. Uh, which I did the, with you at Grove Park, right? Right. Yeah. Well, you did the... the uh, the CD release party, you, you sang one of the songs on that. Right. Very nice. And then, well, Sydney may not even know this, but I've also got uh, Richard into uh, being involved in some rock and roll reviews. And uh, Richard played a, meet, a mean uh, piano for a lot of six, 50s and 60s songs. And uh, I heard about that, yeah. yeah. He was great on that. That was kind of, that was kind of fun. Well, he's an all around, he's an all around guy, you know. He really he's is. He's like me doing that. Is that it? And then, so Richard, talk yeah. a little bit, Sidney alluded to it. So you met Sidney when he came to uh, Asheville. And how did you then get from meeting him to the point where you then uh, wrote this song, A Letter, a Letter to Santa? What brought that on? Well, Sidney and I had been talking about doing a holiday album. And Sidney wanted a song where he could ask for, with a letter to Santa, ask for peace and harmony and ask for the wonderful things that we can imagine. And so I wrote and composed and uh, sent, recorded a uh, piano and keyboard track and Sydney came up with the rest. And talking about that, Sydney, in terms of coming up with the rest, what did that entail? No. Oh. Well, he gave me a basic track with beautiful chords, as he always does. And uh, as being a songwriter for so many years, I certain songs when I hear hear, hear them, and if I like the chords, I immediately hear bits and pieces of the song. You know, sometimes I'll even hear the the, the title you know, in in the track. So that's what happened with this one. I heard the the the, the song. I heard the track Richard sent, and I heard the song at the same time. So I just, uh, and you know, it made a song out of what I heard in my head when I heard it, because it wasn't a completed thing when I heard it, but it was basically there. And uh, so I just worked on it. And, uh, uh, you know, stuff I learned at Motown, you know, Barry Gordy taught me a lot of things about writing and what to hear in lyrics. And, and, and I heard it, and I loved it, and I wrote it, and I sent it to him, and he liked it. And he said, "Well, maybe change this a little bit, or we'll re re readjust to do this." And I, you know, I listened to him, and I did all those little things, and we ended up with a pretty good song. It, it was a, it was a surprising because it was it was such a skeleton thing when I first got it. When he didn't know what I was going to come up with, but you know, I didn't know what he was going to send me either. But uh, we always we worked together so well. How long did know? it take you from the idea to the actual uh, doing the recording? This happened over a couple a few of weeks. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah it, it, when I got it, after I got it, it took me a couple of hours to really get the song, you know, basically the story right, basically flowing right lyrically, you know. And I sent it to him and asked him what he thought, and he gave me his opinion and little changes here and there. So about a, about a couple of hours maybe of that, you know. And, uh, and we then we had it, so I said, "Well, let's cut it. You know, let's well, do it." Very cool. And rather than talk about it, I'd like to we're going to play it for just a second, Richard. But first of all, show if you would the cover for the CD, which I believe Sydney designed the cover. Is that what happened? Yeah. Well, well, more or less, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So show the cover, and you see Sydney, so Sydney Bonds sings a letter to Santa. 
And that Santa looks vaguely familiar, Sydney. Do, do I know that guy? <laughs> well, I had, I had some pictures of myself, and I superimposed them over the Santa uh, uh, picture there. And uh, I always, I always wanted to dress in a Santa suit. But I wasn't quite fat enough. I wasn't quite fat enough, so I saw a picture. I saw a place where I could get away with it. So let's let's try it out. And something simple, you know, the red is eye catching, and I love it. and. Uh, it's it's a simple layout, bag of toys, you know, it's and uh, what I yeah what what I suggest is we do. I said, well, Richard, look, you know, I'm asking Center for uh, uh, to, to send things to the kids. Why don't we give something to the kids? So I'm giving a, a portion of my uh, 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 artist royalties to to uh, St. Jude's, very sweet, and because uh, I believe that no kid should have cancer, no kid should have to worry about that. And uh, so I'm setting, I want to set up certain foundations, you know, and having a holiday song every year is going to get played. So I'm figuring after I'm gone, it's going to start, it's going to keep on accumulating money and I can keep, and I want to send uh, to, to money to kids in school that want to, you know, learn uh, music and have mm -hmm. instruments and all. I might not make a whole lot of money to do that with, but some of it, I'll feel good wherever I end up at knowing that, uh, you know, I'm I'm contributing something. Well, if you why ask to... why ask Santa to do something when I can't do it myself? You know what I mean. So true. And anything you and Richard is involved in, I'm going to want to listen to or hear. So, Richard, if I can ask you to get it going, I think you're you're set to play the song for us. Right, but I need you to allow share oh, sure. screen share. We'll do. Thank you. That would help. Okay. So one participant can share at a time. It's all yours. I, you should be able to. Oh, it says host disabled participant screen sharing. It says, uh, it says, I'll try something else too. Hold on. Uh, it says multiple participant share. That's all I can do on my end, I think. Dewey says, uh, we're trying to work this out. If anybody's watching, Richard, can Wait, you play it? It happened. Now I just have to share audio. Okay. And here, as Rich is queuing this up, you're going to hear for the very first time a letter to Santa written by Richard Shulman and Sidney Barnes. And it's all yours, Richard. Okay, here it comes. Okay, it's exciting as Richard's queuing this up. I wrote a letter to Santa to tell him what I want and asked if he could bring it this year. Richard, can you take down the email address? I, I said, Dear Santa Claus, I see the email letter. I don't see the email. We uh, need the more Christmas cheer right here, right here this year. Kids and their families have been struggling. We've all been through a lot These last few years have been real hard on us Holding on to what we've got But we believe in love And we believe in peace And we believe that you will bring us All the joy we seek and we still believe that Christmas is a time for us to sing, rejoice, and come together caroling. Grown-ups hanging mistletoe, children playing in the snow, greeting strangers passing by with a friendly smile and a hello. Missing all our loved ones That we've lost along the way And wishing they were here with us To celebrate this Christmas day So if there's just the slightest room Within your bag of toys Please fill it up with extra joy For all the girls and boys and how much more they'll appreciate those gifts under the tree if you include some peace 
and harmony. La 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 It's Christmas. I wrote a letter to Santa to tell him what I want and hope he might bring it this year. I said, Santa, oh, we need more Christmas cheer all over the world. All over the world We need a Santa We need more Christmas tree All over the world I hope you read my letter We need it All over the world Merry Christmas I hope you read my letter All over the world Very sweet. Thank you, Richard. Um, I love it. Wow. That was the best part of it, Richard. We, we couldn't actually show it the way we wanted to, but we had Cindy there was lip syncing it. I don't know if you saw that, but that right. was great. With the with the usual Zoom delay. Uh, I, exactly, yeah. It was, you mean that he wasn't singing live? I, I, I thought he was singing live. He was there. singing live. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I rehearsed a lot, you know. Well, let me ask you this, Cindy. In terms of, uh, it was cool. I heard a lot of other stuff going on. In the background, there was, uh, it sounds like background singers, sax, or what else was happening? You had sax, you had strings. That, yeah, that's me doing I do all my vocals when I record. I do all my background vocals because I really can't find anybody else around in the area that does it as well as I do, you know, since I've been doing it for years. But no, we uh, we put the saxophone on it and uh, guitar and... Uh, strings. Uh, strings yeah we had a, a, a bass and drums we had a lot of stuff on it and uh just just mix it all together and, and came up with a masterpiece hopefully no it sounded really good it sounded like like what you were saying all these other instruments sound like a whole bunch of people <laughs> were involved in that some, <laughs> it is a whole even, bunch of people <laughs> even though you had some background it sounds like you had some background singers in that also yeah like i said that's me i do all my background singing Okay, so we didn't get to hear Richard as a background singer on, on that one. You just <laughs> now you hear you, piano. If you listen the... carefully, you hear him playing. <laughs> okay, great, Richard. Let me ask you if uh, folks now want to, I guess, listen to the CD again and or eventually buy it or get it on Spotify. What's the best way for people to get track of, get hold of it? Well, I wasn't expecting to be have it need to have it ready tonight. But we'll get it done in the next few days to come. Yeah, to CD, Rich, CD, Rich CD Baby. Music. Yeah, and, and CD Baby is distributing, so it will be on Spotify and and, and as Amazon. many platforms from iTunes and yeah, as many as we can get it on. And then you can probably download it from Richard's um, uh, email. Richard, so right, Richard. How, what Sydney mentioned, how to do it that so way? So that would be richheartmusic.com. Okay. And as Sydney was mentioning, if they want to find it on Spotify or elsewhere, just look it under the song name. Is that the, the best bet? A Letter to Santa, Sydney Barnes. Uh, yeah, S Sydney Barnes, uh, being the artist, yeah. Right. I, I had to stick my name out front. You know okay. <laughs> Very exciting. I love the cover. Richard, show me the cover again. Just love it, that cover of that CD. Well done, Sydney. Yeah, thank you, sir. Okay, let me just ask you uh, uh, just a couple of the questions here. So uh, after this is released, it'll be coming out soon. But hopefully within the week, Richard will have it up and available for anybody. Um, what do you see next? In other words, I, I think I read somewhere offline, you told me you, you guys are eventually going to make a whole um, album of Christmas songs. Is that the goal? That's the plan. Yeah. Yeah, I, th I, think, we, I think we'll probably try to start around February and you know get a head start because I'd like to do at least a dozen songs and it's going to take a while for us to go back and forth and put it together right. And uh, maybe if we're lucky, we'll get to do some jazz gigs together, which we do occasionally, you know? So 
uh, we, we're going to be working together quite a bit. Now, I'm going to make sure of that. The two of you, That's I know great. you have written together, worked together in the past. Have you um, written any of the songs together or is this the first one? I think this, this is the first one, one we've done together. Yeah. Very, very exciting. We've done a lot of gigs, though. We've done a lot, we've lot done, of shows together. We've done arrangements. Right. Yeah. And, and talk about uh, Richard. So they mentioned doing gigs together. Again, I, I don't think I've caught the two of you in, in person. But talk about I know you've been at ISIS. You've been a, a lot of other places in the area. We did a bunch of things at ISIS. And we did a... Um, who's the great artist that we did with a nine-piece band? Oh, this uh, written nine piece. I don't know, but we did a Sam Cooke show. Sam, Sam Cooke. Cook. Yeah, I'm uh, so sorry I missed it. Yeah. That was, yeah. Uh, and uh, we did a Christmas show a couple of years ago with Cat Williams and uh, all at Ices. And we did, we did a couple other things. Uh, we did some small stuff, care. just the two of us. Yeah, we did a lot of, yeah, a lot of small places. We just, just the two of us, he and I. And, and I, I like that, you know, we do that because it's so intimate. And you know he he plays so he gives me a chance to listen to him more. Well, when you do Sam Cooke again, I'm there. So you know one of my favorites. So I'd love to see you yeah, do it. that again. And let me just have yeah. you once again, Richard, repeat the contact information, not only for the to get the uh, a letter to Santa, but to find out more about you. And then I'll have Sydney do the same thing too. So if people okay. want to get a letter to Santa, first time they've heard it today, what's the best bet? Rich Heart Music, R I C H. Second H E A R T Rich Heart Music dot com. Okay. In addition, what Sydney mentioned, it'll also be available on Spotify or other places. Just look hopefully within the week, a letter to Santa, Sydney Bonds. And Sydney, the same question to ask you. If folks want to find out more about you in terms of other gigs, other music you've done, do you have a website, Facebook page? What's the best bet? I've got a Facebook page, but it doesn't tell you a lot about what I've done. You can you can Google me. A bunch of stuff will show up, and it'll give you give you a lot of opinion. Because, like I said, I've been in the business since the early '60s, and uh, I've got a long rap sheet, uh, <laughs> and I've been with a lot of people. So you you know, uh, I'm, I got stuff on YouTube. I got uh, you can Google me. You go to the website sydneybarnes.net. Uh, you go to all, all sort of music sites, all music and different other sites, and they'll give you uh, resumes and. And that whole thing on me because I've, I've, in fact, I got so much that I've done over the years. It's very difficult to to talk about it, uh, any of it in one setting, you know, because well, I've well, been quite why, a busy guy. But that's why this is great. So for the first time, we get to hear and talk about the song you prepared premiered for us for the first time, A Letter to Santa. So congratulations to mm -hmm. both of you for coming up with this uh, Christmas show s song. We hope to see more of you in the future. And I'd like to thank you both for being my guests on the special Facebook Live edition of the Blainsworth Show. Hope to see everybody this coming Wednesday at 9 a.m. when it returns to its regular time on WPVM LP 103.7 in Asheville, North Carolina. So if you guys just stay with me a second as we stop recording, I'll wrap up with you. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Blaine. Thank you, man.